Hello, welcome and welcome back. Let's continue to learn some Chinese Mandarin that Chinese people won't say. To describe something challenging, the first thing you do is to use your dictionary and check. Oh, 有挑战性的. Correct, because you found the answer from your textbook. Yes, they're always correct, but not very useful. We do use this item when we want to describe something challenging, but here is one exception. When we want to say an industry is very challenging, currently a lot of young people or even older people in China would just say 内卷. 内卷. 内 is inside, 卷 is to curl. What the fuck is that? 内卷 means an industry is challenging and the competitors are beating each other to get more customer resources. For example, Currently, a lot of people are applying for Chinese teaching positions. In this case, we can just say 内卷. Teaching Chinese, this industry is very challenging so that the competitors, teachers, are fighting against each other. So, as long as everyone is getting very hardworking to fight for their future career, you can just use these two characters to describe. Or when you want to say my industry is very challenging, you can just say 我们这一行很内卷。我们这一行很内卷。And to speak even more native, we can also say 卷死了。卷死了。卷 is to curl. After actions in Chinese, we can always use results to just describe what will happen later on. 卷死了 is it's curling or challenging too much and everyone dies. That's all for my sharing for today. Subscribe if you like.